Minnesota crappie. But he swallowed it. Oh, that little fella right there swallowed it way down there. Wally, you got a pretty neat deal there to get that hook out deep, don't you? Hey, Mike, you know what? This is the new fish pick by Smiths. I've designed this, and it works. You can operate it with one hand. You just push the button, and it's got diamond on it if you want to sharpen your hooks. But I'm going to get this little guy back in the water right quick, so I'm going to just pick it out of there, just like that. So, Wally, how does a guy get to be Mr. Crop? Hey, Mike, back in the day, you know, coming up with Mr. Crappie was actually for products. It wasn't like I was Mr. Crappie, but it kind of stuck. Oh, yeah. All right. Make something work. There we go, Wally. Hey, they're Not getting bigger. They're getting a little bigger. They're getting bigger. Ah, chicken. No, that's... Electric chicken. Hey, that's a pretty little old, look at them eyes, man. Look at that golden, that sun's gotta be hitting him just right. Just golden, golden, golden. Hey, little buddy. Jimmy Houston said hello. <laughs> so we, we, we have a plan. This second day, we're getting on the water at 6 a.m. And, and we're gonna get that early morning bite. I get up at 4.30 and I look outside and it's raining and I look at the thermometer and from 97, the day before, it's 66 degrees when we get up. So the morning's a wash, can't get on the water. He gave me a second chance, Wally. Finally, the front clears. So we're going to a lake that's got a really good population of 12, 13 inches. We get out in the spot, get bit pretty quickly. Nice, man. Slabalicious, baby. Slabalicious. Hey, what I tell you about that color? Hey, you was on it. <laughs> you was on it. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nice. That's a 12, don't you think? Oh yeah. Man, fishing in that wind will just beat you down, and and you really can't get on your spot because the boat is bouncing and everything. But when it got slick, man, them crappie went to biting. And what we're doing is throwing that shad pole and that slabalicious up on that grass and just slow reeling it back. And when you pull it off that grass, when you pull it off that grass, I'm telling you, they just nail it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Come in here, Slab Daddy. Come in here, Slab Daddy. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, it looks like we might be doubled hey, up. Got a double. Nope, mine got off. Darn it. Oh, he just got off. <laughs> Guy strike, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, we got crappie. Ooh. What's cool up here in Minnesota is they have so many lakes. I mean, we fished two or three lakes just locating fish and especially when the wind was blowing we was trying to find positions or find grass lines that were in lakes that were available to us where the wind wasn't going to kill us or hurt us you know and we found some of that but we really couldn't lock in to where we where we really needed to be and but man once that wind laid down Mike and I man I'm talking about put on a show now fish Ooh. Oh, that's a good one. Huh? That might be a good one. Good and good for you. It's all over the place. Hey, there you go. Beautiful. Boy, he looks so good coming out of that water, man. I just want to see if these, if what the, if any of these are tens. What is he? He's about just, so he's real close. He's probably 11, real close. 10 and a half. Heck hey, yeah. he's, a, he's either 11 or 8. He's 11. You better with that? You better with that? <laughs> hey, hey, you know when a crappie grows the most, right? Yeah. After you've been caught and released. Exactly. <laughs>